today's video, we are going to look at pixel art in Google Sheets. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing pixel art in Google Sheets. Now go ahead and create a brand new Google Sheets. Now the first way I'm going to show you is the manual way. Now in order for us to create pixel art, first of all, we will need square shaped cells. So go ahead and select your entire sheet. You can easily do this by clicking on the rectangle in the top left corner. Next, we are going to drag and drop our cell width. And we are going to create little square shaped images. Now, as you can see, I have lots of squares and I can now go to this zoom functionality to zoom in. And all that's left for me to do now is simply using the fill color tool to highlight individual cells that I would like to have colored. Now, this is a very easy and simple manual way of creating pixel art in Google Spreadsheets. Now, once you've finished this, you can simply go to file and then you are going to download this as a PDF document. Now, once you have that PDF document, you will see that your pixel art is in the middle of your document. Now, this is the manual way. However, I have a second and much more fun way of creating pixel art in Google Sheets, and this is through Apps Script. Now, the second way that you can create pixel art, and this is way more advanced, is by using a photograph and having each individual cell represent a pixel in your photograph. Now, the link in the description below will bring you to this file that you can then make a copy of. And when you make a copy of this file, it has the app script already built into the file. Now this was created by Mr. Amit at Labnol and you can find the link to his website in the description as well. Now all it takes is for you to simply click on the spreadsheet art menu and you are going to select start. Now, once you've done that, this script is going to start running and you need to authorize it. So go ahead and give it permission to change these spreadsheets in your Google Drive. And you will see that a custom menu opens up. Now, there are two options for you to create your art. You can either have pixel art, where each individual cell will represent a pixel on your picture or emoji arty, which is going to allow you to use emojis and use the colors in those emojis to create your art. Now I'm going to first demonstrate the pixel art. So I'm going to select an image. Now this is bringing me straight to my computer. So I'm going to now select the image I want uploaded. Now I've already created a folder called pixel art. So I'm going to select that folder. And here we are, this is the picture I would like to use in my pixel art. This is a picture of me and my two boys and we're feeding some fish and ducks at our local park. So it's now uploading this picture and as you can see, it's working. It's adding a brand new sheet. It's extracting all the colors from my photograph. It is now going to put all the color codes into my spreadsheet. It's going to resize the cells, adjusting the rows, processing them, coloring them in. Now, as it's finishing up, it's resizing all the rows and columns so that I have a nice pixel art image. Now, once finished, you can simply go to File and then select Export, so Download as a PDF document. Now, this is going to read all the information on your spreadsheet. And as you can see, I have a beautiful pixel art version of my photograph. Now this is a photograph of me and my two boys feeding the fish at our local park. Now what I can do is I can make sure that this fits to the page. It's going to resize my image and this now fits on a single A4 paper. Now I'm happy with this so I am going to export this image. It is downloading the PDF file of this image and when I open this PDF I have my pixel art picture ready for me to use anywhere I please. And this was all created in Google Spreadsheets with the help of this app script written by Mr. Amit at Labnol. Now, I can hear you think, hold on a minute, there was an option for some 
emoji art as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's open up that link in the description below. Let's make a copy of this spreadsheet. And this time, instead of selecting pixel art, we're going to select the emoji arty functionality. Now, open up the file, click on the custom spreadsheet art menu, and let's click on start. We are going to give it authorization to access our account. There we go. And we are going to again select that same image, but this time instead of clicking on pixel art, we are going to use emoji RT. So we select that same image of me and my boys at the local park. It is working, it's adding a new sheet, and you will see that now instead of color coding, we are going to have the actual emoji art codes put into our individual cells. Now, these will be turned into little emojis and those emojis all working together are going to create an image of my photograph. So let's give it a minute and let it process all these different emojis. Now just like before, all your cells are resized so they fit and match your art. And as you can see from scrolling down, all these emojis work together and create an artistic expression of my image. Now I have quick buttons here that I can use to share and I now have my emoji art. Now as you can see from this area here, let's zoom in to 200%, each color is created with different emojis. Now I hope you found this helpful. Again, as mentioned before, you can find links to the blog of Labnol in the description below, a link to the file as well in the description and as always, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I would love to hear in the comment section below how you might use this, how you've used it before and if you can see the value in some fun art activities like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.